Attention all moviegoers. This bitch in row three is eating beans. Do what you must. <laughs> Attention duelists. I come to make an announcement. Shatter the hedgehog's a bitch ass motherfucker. Just on my fucking life. Fucking wife. Where the fuck's my phone? There's my phone. Son, I get the fuck out of here! If you don't, I swear I'll shoot Amy in the fucking head. Nice try, robot. Sucks. Name speeds my game. Oh my gosh! Shut up. I miss my I miss my wife tails. Gotta go fast. Why would you call him a wife? No, that's actually a thing from like the active like lip dub of that game. Just I miss my wife Tails. I miss her a lot. I'll be back. <laughs> oh, that 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 dub of that game is one of the greatest things that has been crafted by human hands. Yeah, honestly, it's like Emperor. If the Emperor had a text-to-speech device, that just everything comedy gold, uh, gold. Nice. <laughs> Where is my? Where's my centurion? Where is that fucking fly? Where are my testicles? <laughs> what's, the name of the, what's the name of the game? Ear Dimensional Hyper Q Chess Strip Poker. And it's literally just fucking Yu Gi Oh! Bro, have you ever seen. Um, Whoa! This is a thing on the internet, but have you ever heard of a thing called Time Cube? Yes, I've like, heard of Time Cube. Have you visited the website and attempted to read it? Yes. Oh my god, that's that shit's so funny. Dude, another thing I have to read is similar vein to that is House of Leaves. I have it on my bookshelf. I need to read that. <clears throat> have you heard of House of Leaves? I've heard of it in passing. Do you know what it's about? This is insane. Do not. Do not. Okay. So the book is so it's like a book about a movie about people who are living in a house, right? And here's where it gets weird. The cover of the book is a quarter is like a quarter inch uh, shorter than the book itself, because part of the plot. No, of the book no, is that, don't um, you fucking steal it. Is uh, that they yeah, try to measure you. this weird house, and it's a quarter of the and it's a quarter of an inch larger on the inside than the outside, and then shit gets really weird after that. The writing gets cerebral. Like I opened up to one page that only had like two letters on it. A page where the text was diagonal, another page that had useless braille in the middle of it, well, that and one of them just had a black rectangle <laughs> just in the middle of it. Some pages only had like five words and random areas in the page. Sometimes it's written upside down. Hmm. Oh, and the footnotes, the footnotes that are referenced in it often refer only, it was, only half of them refer to things that actually exist, the others are obscure sources which don't. Jesus! The most the, the most cerebral thing that I've read was uh, Reaper's Creek by Onision. Oh god. That book well, well, is like genuine weirdness, not like a product of narcissism, you know what I mean? Yeah. Have you has anybody here read Reaper's Creek? Nope. No. You ain't missing much. You ain't missing much. Good. It is a it is literally a power fantasy about a, an Onision stand-in character literally cloning himself into a perfect, like, cloning a perfect, like, body clone of himself, killing God, and then bringing back God's sister, meeting God's dad, something, something, something. He's actually the child of God's sister. He wants to fuck his mom, something, You know, something. this does not surprise me because he's an egotistic piece of shit to ever think of something like that. Meanwhile, I'm yeah, about to die. It's, or it's not. A it's it's a it's a trip and a half like every like i don't understand like he would like he tried to go with the sort of theme with his first two books the first two books stones to abigail like the first book stone to abigail was supposed to be like the light part of him in high school and then uh this is why i hate you was supposed to be his darkness what the fuck is reaper's creek supposed to be i don't like his ego i'm not I'm by no means a published author, nor would I even try to publish any work that I, like, I would ever write, I got but... I alive. Nice. I've written adventure scenarios for D&D &D that had more depth than that entire book. Dude, why are you acting surprised? He's fucking... He's living I garbage. Be because I, I put too much faith... Just like, why are you surprised? He's an asshole. I put too much faith That's... in my fellow human beings. If logic, that is putting it nicely. I put I put too much yes, faith in my fellow. He's humans. a living embodiment who we never asked for. You know what? You know what I think, and this is a hot take. What? 
Lily Orchard and uh, Onision should co-write a book together. No! 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 Guys, listen, listen, listen. We would rid ourselves of both of them in the process because they wouldn't be able to stand each other. Wait, what are you guys talking about? Sorry. I was... Nothing. Lily Orchard and nothing about Lily Orchard and whoever this guy is. Right uh, Lily Orchard and Onision writing a book together. <laughs> like, imagine that clashing, those clashing ideologies. Be perfect. Um, uh, <laughs> clashing, you say. Clashing okay? ideologies. They're not like very similar. Yeah. Yes, but they're both. But here's the thing: they would never be able to get along with each other. Oh yeah, because they're both narcissists. Like yes, yes, those ideologies. <laughs> Plus, also like hit like, Onision has all his weird ideologies about, you know. Yes. You know, intercourse and all that stuff. Oh, How was I gotta... supposed to get out of that? What the hell? Guys, uh. <laughs> <clears throat> Can't say can't say what I want to say because we're because uh, Monka t Monka toss Twitch terms of service. For a second there, I thought you were going to mention manga common. I know. No, I was no. going to say that sounds. No, nice. ma no manga. It's cool, bro. What the fuck? Like, no, I like manga common. <laughs> I get along with him just I, fine. Manga's a cool guy. Manga yeah, no, and he does he does a great job in the commentary community calling out of people's shit like. The stuff he said, calling out on Turkey Tom and whatever crap he was saying about Speechy. Like, I'm not going to defend yeah. Speechy because there's some things that she needs to, like, learn to take criticism of. But the way Turkey Tom is going about it, like, oh, yeah, I didn't do anything wrong. Yeah, even though there are tweets of you calling her fat in such a, in such a manner that, yeah, she may need to lose weight, but you're just doing it out of spite. You're just being an asshole. Yeah. yeah. Pretty much. Which yeah, is no, nothing I new, because Turkey, Turkey Tom's a douchebag. Goddamn fly. Yeah, yeah no, at BrodyCon, I, I, like, he had a war turtle, like, fuck, I dropped my kazoo. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and then the that was said. They, Ma Manga had a war turtle, like, beat art thing, and I walked over and I'm like, Manga, you're making a really hard selling point, you got a war turtle bead thing here. He's like, yeah, and you can own it right now for 30 bucks, and I'm like, mm, you know, you're driving a hard bargain, my friend. I'll take it. I didn't even try to haggle. My haggling skill is not as high as my, my, my intimidation skill. I don't have speech 20. Yeah, yeah. In other I, words, you didn't I crack a, you didn't roll on 100 in that. You rolled a nope. two. Depending, it's like, depending on the race you pick in Skyrim, the lowest stat you can have is 15. So, you're right. Speech 15. <laughs> it sounded that almost like you were going to play the Megalovania theme. Yeah. <laughs> Murder. I will, while I have stated before that I am never going to be streaming Undertale, I love, I will say this, I love the music. The music's pretty good. I've... Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and do a hard one, because it requires me to be in an upper octave. <clears throat> Fuck. <laughs> I don't imagine you'll know when he plays it. I'm trying not to laugh, goddammit. Hey, hey, Vladdy, I got one for you. Let me find it. Oh. Is that Mario? No, yeah, it's, it's Mario. no, it's Temi Village. It's Temi Village. Or at oh. least it's the Tem Shop. <laughs> Vlad, play you that. Play Buckle. Oh. Buck Bumble. The Piggity Buck what Bumble. Okay. Alright, alright. All right. <laughs> Everyone.
I fuck? Oh god. You messed it up! How do you mess it up? Listen! I need to take breaths! <laughs> <laughs> also, Jess, what kind of oh, question is that? How did you... Also, Jess, uh -huh. what kind of question is that? How did you fuck up Megalovania? Hmm. How do you My mess up Megalovania? You said, okay, well, why don't you play Megalovania on the kazoo if it's so fucking easy? Why don't you play it if you're so goddamn smart? <laughs> if I had one, if I had one, I would. If I had a kazoo. Oh, so, so shut the fuck up! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Solar! Thank you! Here's the one you could use this is a good job. Uh, no! Damn it! Hmm, which one? Sorry. Fear of justice. I don't, I think. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm thinking about it. Uh... <laughs> I love that one. I have a And do like like face a true hero. That'll fucking kill me. You know the best part oh, of this. Oh, that one is hard. Dude. None of the none of the Undertale music is actually copyrighted, so. <laughs> yeah, I know. Because Toby Fox. Why is do you think there's amazing. so many covers Toby of Fox it? Toby Fox is Why such a cool so person. Toby Fox. Toby Fox is a modern day god of the gaming industry. He was the I only agree. person outside of Japan yeah. to work on the newest Pokemon songs. Yeah, and he's yes. been. He was recognized by the grandfather of modern video gaming and put into the brainchild franchise of one of the most prolific game designers and, like, directors of the modern era. Like, holy shit, Toby Fox is a fucking god! Wait, which one? He, he which got, one? like, okay. under, Undertale got put into, uh, like, Sans's skin got put into Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Yep. Yeah, I remember crazy. seeing yeah, a video. I, I, yeah, 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 okay, yeah. so I, I just want to mention, I, I did see, like, obviously I saw the uh, the announcement of that, but there's a, there's a channel that Chrissy introduced me to. I forget what the name is. It was like Dan something. But he and his friends were reacting to it, and they screamed their asses off when it came to Sans uh, being announced. <laughs> Prior to that, somebody said, like, I hope Sans makes it in Smash Brothers. Dude, it's not going to happen. And then later, he's in there. Oh, my God! <laughs> I just imagine that Toby Fox. I just imagine that Toby Fox is like perpetually tired. Cause like after all the work he. Was like getting, he probably was like getting like a little kid in a, in a candy store for that. <laughs> He's like just sitting there, dark circles under his eyes, like a cup of coffee in his hand. Yay. That's how he, he oh, it's my favorite stage. Zone. Fun. Yes. And the only Survey thing he program. Oh no! Oh no, what do you do? It's this stage! Survey program. What are we doing? This game looks I familiar. Wanna... It's what, uh, Gradius, Gradius 3. 3. Yeah. yeah it's Gradius oh, 3. Gradius, okay. Oh, oh no! Oh, I saw it coming! The only reason I know about this game is because of the Yu Gi Oh card. And that's Wait, sad. What? Yeah, because Konami owns Yu-Gi-Oh, they actually put Gradius as a Yu-Gi-Oh card. Yeah. Oh Got my it. god! I didn't this Does that mean that now. Castlevania no! might end up in future Yu-Gi-Oh decks? Uh, you, you, you say that as though Konami gives a shit about their properties anymore. I know. All they, all the fucking, they only fucking care about their properties if they can put it on a Pachinko machine. Pachinko machine, yeah. Pachinko machines! I'm gonna buy me one of them pachinko machines, and then I'm gonna drop it in front of the Konami office, right Every as the executive is trying to walk out the door. Machine. All I can think about is that fucking level from Super Mario Sunshine. All I can think of is Takeshi's Wait, challenge. One? The giant pachinko machine level where you have to get all the red coins in that giant <laughs> machine that, like, the, oh, the, the physics are completely fucked in, and it's completely luck-based, basically. Oh, Isn't that the one where when Dan, yeah, when Dan and Aaron were playing it and Dan and Aaron fell? 
Aaron, like, got so fucking pissed. I, apparently he broke shit because he got that fucking Yeah, angry. he did! I remembered! I mean, fair, you know? <laughs> Where, where's that? Uh, when uh, is Aaron not raging at a fucking when game? When, I, when is Aaron not, <laughs> uh, like, my exact mood all the time forever? There's the, there's the fucking card. <laughs> Gradius is the most powerful oh, Yu-Gi-Oh card. No. I act, I'm going to have to take a look at that in a bit. I think I have. The description is a no! high-performance oh. jet fighter with power capsules for variable attack capabilities. That's beautiful. That's absolutely beautiful. <laughs> okay, I actually have one of those. You have a Gradius card? Yeah, I have, I have one or two of them. Yo, can I, can I buy that off of you for like 50 bands? Can I, can I snag that off you? I, still, I need to see if I still have it, because I just have the cards like sitting in a box in the living room. I have the cards somewhere at my grandparents' place. I'm going to have so, to look at my collection. I, 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 I stopped <laughs> playing around Zexel is when I kind of got off of Yu-Gi-Oh. Eh, I, I don't yes! understand why people name themselves that. Name themselves I what? Name this. What? I mean, I'm not okay. First off, I have no intention of shitting on this person for making me fan art. It was really sweet of them. But why do people name themselves the autistic that or the autistic this? Uh, using. Mm. Why do people do that? I mean, some people have a because they want to garner attention. Fuck. Yeah, that's that's one reason. Some people actually do have some kind of a sense of pride over it and stuff. But it's most often not. It's. Uh, uh, never mind. I'm not gonna Riley. Down that well. Yeah. Riley, you got a pe the, you got some pe you got some Pizza Hut in the background there. Yeah, I had I ordered Pizza Hut earlier. Why? Yo, you go, you gotta you gonna you gonna share a slice? Sure, <laughs> Fuck! Come to Utah and I'll give you a slice. No, you put that shit in the mail right now. Okay, just, I'll just, just put it straight in the mail. Just fucking slap it against the microphone. <laughs> Yeah, that slap, make it to slap it on again. the microphone. Just Darth Revan, thank you for subscribing. Gold getting subs. Yeah. <sighs> Where's that fucking fly? Where's this fly? Where's that? You got an eye fly. fly. Oh my god, fly. is that an electric fly swatter? Yeah, I love this thing. All right, Travis Willingham. Because one of my one of my roommates has these rabbits, and they kind of attract flies. So. Yeah. Riley has yeah. gone into get that motherfucker territory. Oh, the, the, uh, yeah. I've been the quite a number with this thing. Riley, when he sees a fly ever, that one eat his ass. <laughs> <laughs> so it's gonna get him extra crispy. Kiss my ass. I was not that close. Uh, no thanks. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Not today. Not today. Not today. Hey guys. King Kong. Gorsh. Oh, Bliss, can you hear something cute that involved my daughter? No! Oh. Okay, I was, I was like, I was like, is this a trick question? <laughs> <laughs> is this a trick question? Are you, are you trying to? Okay. Wait, hold, don't worry, what did, what did you think she thought you were going to send her? I, I don't know, it's just that a lot of people have been trying to trigger me today, so I'm on oh. You mean like, no, you mean no, like the shits and giggles? Or? Aeon was watching this the whole time during the TF2 premiere. How many people were trying to get me to respond to them with all the cute jabs? Oh, and then it got God. to a point where someone was so desperate to get my attention that they were like, I'm gonna yeet my nipples up a cliff. Yeet, 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 yeet. I'm like, oh, honey. Get some help. <laughs> no, that's, that person did that to me short, or tried to do that to me shortly after in text. I was like, oh, dearie. Oh. So, <laughs> what I don't have what's, to be nice to you, just so we're clear. So, what they, so what's, where, where, where do I go and what's the time of the showdown? <laughs> uh, okay, it's I'm going to post show.